Oh boy. Oh boy. You see the title right there. Frieden is an isekai and full of filler. This anime is not shonen. It's isekai! Every isekai MC starts out overpowered with the exception of Free Zero, actually. This guy's kind of interesting anyway. We have a we have a we have a heated video, Chibi, please. Explain to us what's going on. Mitchell, Free Run is an isekai, and mm. it's not a shonen, which mm. you got both wrong for one. <laughs> yeah, an isekai in Japanese, it literally translates to other world. Some people have this, this uh, misconception that an isekai also has a reincarnation component to it. Reincarnation is tensei. Japanese, tensei is reincarnation. Isekai is other world. And on top of that, Frieden gets memed on for being a quote unquote native isekai or some shows where people say like, basically an isekai is when you get fucking transported to another world where it's like a fantasy setting, right? Like medieval high fantasy shit usually. That's why people meme on it being a native isekai, but this guy <laughs> is calling it, it's not a shonen, it's an isekai. How are you getting both these things wrong to start off the tweet? Which only makes me think, he's rage baiting. He must be rage baiting to farm imaginary points on Twitter to get the attention that he never got when he was a child from his parents. One, it is in a shonen magazine. On top of that, it is definitely not a isekai because uh, it's just a traditional fantasy, which yeah. is one of the main vocal points that the entire internet in the anime community. Yeah, what were they saying? Finally, we're free from isekai hell and fucking. Fantasy shows are making a comeback was the talking point when Freedom was airing. And manga community was praising about Free Ren. And I talked about this in length in my videos. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, th th this alone, when I saw this, I was just like, I You're cannot baiting. believe that this is about Free Ren. It's a low effort bait. The only thing that he's actually correct about is this part. Where the MC, where every Isekai MC starts out with overpowered powers, except uh, ReZero, which people are gonna get mad about this because they also are retarded and think that Subaru can, you know, regress and solve everything. That shit's not overpowered. It seems overpowered until you actually watch the show and you realize what that kind of power comes with. Like, what kind of baggage, what kind of fucking cons and negative sides of regression? It is not fun dying over and over again, getting traumatized, and then people not even fucking believing you because now you're seeing suspicious with the miasma stacking and knowing future event that should not be happening yet. It works actively against him a lot of the times. Ren of all series. Now, this individual, for I think, honestly, has a humiliation fetish. And here... Yeah, that plus wanted to farm engagements, right? Hear me out. I already ratioed this man. I already absolutely <laughs> went after this man for his horrendous re-zero take that he made. Are we gonna want? Okay, I gotta read this for myself. I'm gonna remember. Okay, T B Y S D tweet. We gotta farm this guy's. Okay, this is good content. This is a content mill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'll probably farm this on a separate video. About a month ago at this point, and I went super. In depth, basically too long to not read. I destroyed him. Yeah, I, I countered pretty much every <laughs> that he made about ReZero and how it was supposedly bad, etc., and all that. But uh, getting into the main topic, he mm -hmm. has decided to grace his horrible takes. Yeah, with Free Ren now, and it makes a lot of sense why he decided to dive into Free Ren because I've noticed as of late, Free Ren is uh, it's very. <laughs> Did Omni reply to that guy's tweet with this picture? Which is Freedom basically saying, go end yourself. <laughs> or, <laughs> right? It's like he's just telling that guy. Popular. And I've noticed it's getting popular to hate. I've definitely seen yes. an uptick, a trend of this statement, these statements around the community that people say Free Ren is absolutely a dog water series. It's overrated. It's overhyped. It's not worth a- My one thing, my one nuclear take that's gonna make these fucking Free Ren glazes mad is people glaze this show, and I love this show. I think it's definitely something to be glazed for, but sometimes nothing happens in the screen except fucking the sky being shown for 5 seconds, then a wagon moving for 10 seconds, 
people just walking around in the forest, walking over a log, and people like, oh, peak fantasy! The mood, the atmosphere, the vibes. Oh my god, it's definitely not filler animation. Fuck you, you. Oh, just those people make me mad. Everything about Frieden is amazing, but then there's these scenes where they're obviously trying to add in some ambiance to try to like show the different map, the environment, but people see fucking Farino walking over a log that takes 10, 10 seconds and they're like, peak, peak. A masterpiece or a cult classic type status, it is something that will fade in memory in just a year. Which I'm just gonna say it, and pardon my language, that's bullshit. Because okay. I wanna tell you, Free Ren is definitely made history. It is definitely resonated. I mean, it's number one on my enemy list right now. That's gotta mean for something. Resonated with so many people from the casual fan base to the hardcore fan base. Hell, and I know this isn't very important, but for it to surpass Full Metal Alchemist on mm. my anime list mm. and stay there for over a year says enough. Yeah. Especially when Full Metal Alchemist has been stationed as the number one on that site for literally over a decade, and there's been so much controversy about that for a long time. But what I'm saying is, is Free Rent has made a lot of sweeping waves and changes within the environment of anime. Agreed. And it's definitely made room. And I, I definitely think that producers and people that work on anime have noticed that more people want traditional fantasy. We which had Atelier, bro, baby? Which had Atelier? That shit's gonna go crazy. It's looking like a battle shonen esque, you know, fantasy show, and I'm all for it. And that's what happens when you just keep getting the same thing over and over again, right? The pendulum will switch back. People love Isekai. People are always gonna love Isekai, but the more that you just keep having 30 shitty Isekai comes out with like maybe one or two good ones each season, right? People are gonna start to crave something else. You eat the same thing over and over again. You want a little bit of change, and Frieden was a great example of that. You don't want just reincarnated, transported, yep. or Isekai or anything like that. We want traditional fantasy. Go back to the age old. Dungeons and Dragons, Lord of the Rings, stuff like that. That's what people want. That's what people are craving. Because we have been so starved from that content for a very long time. People crave it. Because for the last, oh, at this point in time, now, for the last 14 to 12 years of anime, you know, it's mostly just been about transported slash reincarnated yep. like isekai, stories. Isekai, and isekai, isekai. a few fantasy that slips through the cracks here and there, but nothing has made waves, so to speak. And Free Run is one of those first series after a very long time that just... It was at the right place, at the right time, with the right story, the right characters, the right voice acting, the right studio. The Sounds like Frieden is fraudulent. Based on what Chibi's saying, it's a product of its time. Frieden is not a timeless classic, but simply it got carried for being at the right place, at the right time, with the right story. No, I'm kidding. The right staff, everything to really just get it off the ground. And it really home runned itself. I okay. mean, it had so many things working for it. That is why it is so incredibly popular. So when I took a hard look at this tank, I could not believe what I was reading. And I want to say, before I go any further, okay, there is nothing wrong with disliking a series. Yeah, for sure. But when you start rage baiting with claims that doesn't make sense, now you're just being retarded. Even free rent. If you do not like free rent, if you think it is absolute doo doo, like doo doo water, okay, that's fine. Completely fine. Doesn't mean I'm going to agree with you, but it is completely fine to not like something. That that is completely fine. You you have a complete right to an opinion on how you feel about a show. That is fine. Yeah, at least make that opinion's logic make sense though, right? The moment you start changing what freedom is and why it's bad, then you're just lying. You're just fucking misinforming people and slandering a show for imaginary points online. And you don't even fucking make money on Twitter. This dude is paying Twitter blue. He's actively losing out on money. You think that these engagement farms are gonna pay his rent? He is literally paying money to seem popular online to a bunch of random kids. However, when you post an opinion publicly, don't think people are just going to sit there and look at your opinion and not point out if it's wrong or not. Or if and I think that's at the end of the day what he wants. Like, this guy's writing pretty in-depth uh, paragraphs, right? I'm just kind of glossing over it, but it sounds like 
An intelligent person with logic and rationality will not just call Frieden <laughs> not a shonen, but it's a fucking <laughs> what do you call it? He called it like a bullshit isekai, right? It's he's rage baiting, and us farming the video, we're playing into his hands. But at the end of the day, I think that people who rage bait and say like, "Oh, you got farmed. That's what I wanted to do." Like, yeah, I think you just have a humiliation fetish. I'm gonna make money off of your humiliation kink. That's what I'm gonna do. They believe it's wrong or not. And in this case, that's what I'm doing. And you can clearly see by oh my uh, just how many... God, that's a lot of fucking characters, bro. He wrote a full-on essay, MLA format with citations. He retweet slash quote retweets is on this post. I think it speaks for itself that this man is getting absolutely decimated. Ratioed. Like when you get when you have more replies and retweets than like bro 1.4 million views and he got like 900 likes that ratio is crazy. It's not looking good. That's all I'm gonna say. I mean hell, I actually already ratioed this man um last night. I made a post about him actually. I think I already ratioed him here. Let me scroll down and I will show you guys. Um, yeah, here it is. I already ratioed this man. So says it as it is. But anyways, getting into the main point. We need to talk about his... I want you to go back to the ratio and just realize this, okay? Yeah, ratio and people, it's just imaginary points. We're just dunking on him. But just look at this. 1.4 million got 907 likes, okay? Understand this ratio first, right? 1.4 mil, 900, 900 likes, right? What did Chibi get? His tweet got 62,000, right? 1.4 million versus 62,000. Yet... Chibi got almost three times, right? Almost three fucking times. This is 20 times less. Roughly 20 times less, right? Than 1.4 million. Yet he's getting three times the likes, okay? This is what it actually should look like. So it really goes to show that he's doing a really poor job at hate rate, like just hate farming. Like, come on, man, you can do better than that. Getting into the main point, we need to talk about his complaints, okay? Mm. The first off, and what he's saying within sure. this post, and why it is just such a bad faith review from him, that honestly, it makes me believe that his argument points, he hasn't even watched the show. Like, I am <laughs> led to believe that this individual- The mask is falling off. He tried to make a really good articulated essay, but fails. There's logical inconsistencies because he actually never watched this show. That's like a very embarrassing moment where it's just like, damn. You're fucking rage farming, you're baiting, but you're not even consistent with the bait. Think before you sleep, yeah, you really should have fought before you tweeted, fought before you posted this online, fought before you even decided to turn on your PC today. You, you definitely should have thought about this, because I feel like the way you worded all these points within this post is more or less someone that got all their information for free Ren either through other YouTubers, through meme videos, TikToks, or the wiki. That, that's what I'm led to believe here from this giant post because it completely misses the mark about what free Ren is actually about. Now let's get into the nitty gritty here. Okay? All right. Let's start with the very beginning. I am so tired of people saying that free Ren is a good show. So people enjoying themselves and having fun makes you upset. Yes. We already know what who what How can other people enjoy something that I hate that cannot be allowed? What kind of person we're dealing with. It sucks. Are people so lost these days that they think a 5 out of 10 show has breaking bad levels of writing? Maybe not normies, but in anime world, so many mass slash 10 out of shows get tons of attention and praise. Okay. Now, this argument, I can definitely... To a degree, not fully, to a degree. There's some partial truth he's saying, right? Breaking Bad here is an amazing show, right? Many, maybe not normally, but the anime world, so many mad attend. There, there is a lot of mids that gets glazed. Like 86! Oh, you gonna fucking be mad about that, aren't you? Oh, you gonna get mad now? Dislike! You don't talk about 86 like that! I think 86 is a great anime. I think it's a wonderful anime. I think it's a very thought-provoking anime, but sometimes I... I look at the glaze and the support for many of these enemies. I don't think 86 is a fucking 10 out of 10. People claim this shit to be 12 out of 10. I think 86 is probably somewhere around like a 9, right? Somewhere around there. It's, it's fucking amazing, but there is a lot. There's See, there's a lot of partial truth, right? There's a lot of a little truth here and there scattered across to kind of make it believable. Except and agree with this. That's shocking, I know. 
And the reason why is because I do think that there is a lot of shows out there that definitely are incredibly popular because they have flashing lights. And <laughs> yeah, Demon Slayer, right? And again, we just made a video about talking about monkey analytics, right? Why does Bakemonogatari or other shows like Fate Zero, the complexities of the storytelling, the clash of ideologies and philosophies, do you think that the average person who is so fucking stupid can appreciate that? No, the average person is a dumb child that wants to see Studio Euphotable go fucking crazy for Demon Slayer, right? I don't think Demon Slayer is a thought-provoking show. It's Unga Boonga hype. It's Unga Boonga Slayer. And that's what it is. It's not trying to be anything else. It doesn't need to be a thought-provoking show. It executes on the hype. The fights are fucking sick. People love it. But think about that demography, right? Think about the average person, the people. Who has more time to watch this shit? Grown-ass men in their fucking 30s that has a fucking child to take care of? Supreme intellect in the academic field? Or a bunch of dumb 14-year-old kids who love hype, unga boonga, flashy lights? Just think about it from that perspective. Everything starts to make more sense. Dopamine hit, so to speak. That's what I think, you know, uh, why a lot of things become popular. But it doesn't disregard their overwhelming success and those people that enjoy those said series. Yeah, you can enjoy it. We can't discredit them and say you have no reason to, you know, like it. People enjoy what they enjoy, and there's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. So this person coming off very aggressively and basically being upset that people are enjoying themselves shows we're dealing with a very negative individual. People who get mad that other people are enjoying something are just the most sad, pathetic people. Because think about it. Why would you ever get mad? Let's try to think about the inner machinations of a person that actually gets triggered because a different group of people enjoy something. Like, if I see a bunch of My Little Pony enjoyers, I'm going to be like, eh. but I'm not going to be like, how dare you like that? I'm going to be like, all right, y'all do your thing. You know, it's not my interest, but if you guys are happy with it, go ahead. I have no personal connection with them, right? It just doesn't matter. But this guy gets fucking upset because he sees this as something that challenges his worldview. How could somebody not have the right opinion? And the right opinion is his opinion. This guy has a fucking god complex, thinks that he's a ruler of the world, and if people does things that doesn't align with his worldview somehow, that's fucking heresy. It just sounds like a person that is so lonely and depressed that cannot make fulfilling, authentic relationship with other people. They cannot have any of that. They're a fucking hollow ghoul that has their own ideals that they're so stringent on and will forever chase down people that goes against those ideals. That, um, legit but I think that at the end of the day, he's just rage baiting though. Who knows if this part is real, right? We don't have to get too deep into this. This, this person could simply think that this is all just fucking funny and he's just writing up a bunch of bullshit and seeing just the flames rise. Legitimately just doesn't like seeing people have fun. That, that, that's at least what I get from this opening statement from them. How many episodes of that show are just nonsense filler? It had to be like 10 to 12. He's talking about free run, by the way. Mm. I get that not every episode has to drive the plot forward. Do you even know what the plot is? It's because people find that them not getting to fucking uh, the north end, whatever place, to get Flamme's magic, talk to fucking people in the afterworld. I guess that is the plot, but the overall plot is... The plot is the journey, man. They're, they're, not every episode has to fucking achieve getting to the end goal. The literal point of this show is to just enjoy your time. Right? You have this main character who is seemingly almost immortal. Not really, but her passage of time is different from humans. She cannot appreciate these different relationships and other people because they just fucking die out too early. They're like fireflies. But she closed her heart off a long time ago. And Himel's death kind of reminds her that, shit, maybe I should have appreciated those times. Why couldn't I figure that out? And as she journeys on with Stark and Farron, right? She starts to appreciate more of these just slow times. Just everyday, mundane things. We're enjoying it. And there's these flashbacks where she remembers her original party. And there's like a lesson to be tied in with that episode, right? And it's all about just enjoying that journey. It's about enjoying the limited time that you have with the people around you. It's not supposed to fucking... But this guy doesn't get it. So it seems like it's filler to him. Because he doesn't understand the purpose of the story. But I don't think he actually watched it.
Shows can be more episodic in nature, like Avatar The Last Airbender, where some of the most memorial episodes of that show are technically filler. Or an example of anime that does that well is Cowboy Bebop. But in Free Ren's case, instead of getting a 3-5 to five act story with twists and turns, you get, hey, let's buy red-haired Zenitsu's an oversized anime steak for his birthday. Oh, yeah, it, it, you don't even understand the significance of that steak. Do you know why that steak matters? Because there's lore and history of Frieden's past about the Hamburg steak. About a point of celebration and before she might have not cared, but now it matters. That's the entire fucking point. Oh, and that's another annoying thing about modern anime. Every character is an archetype and not an actual character. What does that it's even so mean? lazy. If I see another guy hit his uh tilt his chin down and push up his glasses in a fight, I am going to lose it. What a fragile mind he has. He's gonna start crying and shitting his pants because some Megane guy went like this. This is the average anime fan? No, it's not. It's not. He's rage baiting. He's rage baiting. But it is funny to imagine someone just watching an anime and they see a Mega Knight guy just like go like this. And he's like, No! I can't have to happen! It's just like, <laughs> This is what's getting you upset? You're gonna start crying because of this? Let's start off with the archetype one first before okay. I get into the main elephant in the room. Uh, alright, alright. The fact that you are upset with a character just being an archetype and not explaining why they're a bad version of said archetype automatically makes your entire argument against characters pointless. Okay. You're basically just upset because a character is an archetype. For instance, you can have characters tilt their gla like tilt their head, pu push up their glasses, mm -hmm. and they can have so much more to them than that. It's a mm -hmm. little trope, it's a little thing, and there is ways for writers to do a good archetype and a bad archetype. You have no reasoning to why the characters are a bad archetype. The True, right? These archetypes, these cliches and tropes exist for a reason. It's because it's a proven success, but not because it is the way. It's, it's, it's in how it's executed. A Megane doing a glass tilt has no meaning on like how good of a character that person is, right? Based on their actions, based on how well they're written, that same Megane that does the glass tilt can be just mid or amazing. So this argument, again, is just so fucking lazy. It's so lazy, bro. Your entire argument is lazy only thing that you talked about was that Stark apparently got a mm -hmm. steak for his birthday and you can uh, Yeah, and then the Stark again, the Stark has significance. There is story significance in how this ties into Freeman's past. Paired him with another character from a completely different series that doesn't even matter in, in you know in terms of Freeman's actual story and the argument being made here. It's legitimately wild to me just how you missed the mark on actually explaining characters. I'm not even mad that this guy missed the point on the characters. I'm disappointed because again, I'm coming into this thinking this guy is a professional rage baiter, but now it's seemingly he's a fucking amateur, right? There's got to be an art to trolling. You need to have win conditions, but a win condition cannot be made when you haven't done your homework and research to actually make a proper good rage bait. This is very mid. Like, for instance, you can have the most stereotypical character archetype, but it depends on the quality of the writer if the archetype is used or not. There is so many good and bad examples that you could potentially use, but you give literally no example of a character archetype and why it's bad and why it could be good or better or whatever. You give no examples of this. You just say the character's bad because it's archetype. That's it. And it's just like, that's not an argument. There's nothing wrong with it if you dislike said characters. Once again, Let's I want to say your logic makes sense. wrong if you dislike for your end or dislike the characters. But if you're going to say they're absolutely bad, like straight up factually bad give some reasons for this for we can see why you came to this point of view but you only dislike them because of an archetype that's that's not that's not an argument that, that's not that is not what you think it is now anyways getting into the elephant in the room okay we got to look at what he said here about the 10 to 12 episodes of filler, filler. how free run should have had three to five story act all this type of stuff and talking about stork's birthday this one, automatically, when you start your statement off with something like this, 
instantly, I don't take you seriously. I cannot take anything else you wrote here. I'm probably not even going to read so it because much. this first statement alone lets me know that you're someone that is so deprived of dopamine that you need a continuous hit of anything to keep your attention on screen. You're the very essence of what you were complaining about at the beginning of your Damn. statement. But even if we disregard that, you miss the point entirely on what Free Run is about. It is about cherishing the little time you have with yes, some characters. Yes, like I said, the, time the journey. This world. Free Ren is more or less a vessel showcasing the passage of time. And that, you know, in a brief moment, when you turn your back, you turn your head around, things change. Very well in put. what could be a year for someone, it could be almost an entire lifetime for them. And in this case, the fact that you're upset with characters having birthday parties and cherishing the That's time the whole they've been on, of the story. Planet, on their planet, it's legitimately appalling. Like, I'm appalled by how someone can actually miss... Why doesn't you write a one star on the anime on my animal list because that's not going to get twitter engagement why would he go do that no 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 no. the point of this isn't to make f criticism on free run no the point of this is to rage bait and get a bunch of impressions on twitter that could maybe translate into some fucking pennies that can pay off his rent it's the entire point and concept of free rent it really makes me believe that you have not watched the show at all it makes me believe that only information you've gathered from free rent is either through tiktoks memes wiki and maybe other content creators it just it really is apparent to me with these opening statements that you have not some people genuinely do watch the entire show and because of their media illiteracy and trying to and their lack of ability to understand the themes of the stories or the morals of the story they have this one-sided view that could be the case too, but again, I just think that again, this is just lazy to rage. This is just mid rage bait. Not watch the show that you're critiquing. That that's what it really does feel like. But I'm gonna be honest with you. With this open statement, it makes me not even want to take anything else you say here There's so very much, seriously bro. whatsoever. Holy shit. And so I'm just gonna cut to the chase. I want to say a few things. Okay. This post as well. Just guys, pause the video and look at that. Just just read that. <laughs> okay, go 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 go. Uh, uh, pause the video and look. I want to see. I want to see the top paragraph too. This anime is not shonen. It's isekai. Without understanding what isekai means, every isekai MC starts out overpowered, with the exception of Rezero. I understand. Freedom is not technically isekai. Oh wait, he 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 he's he's um adding on to his point. So it's not technically isekai from a story standpoint, but it has all the same plot of I got transported to another world to defeat the demon lord. Well, the demon lord has already been defeated. The story is post that it's like a new game plus type deal but his argument on why it is an isekai it's it, ha it has nothing to do <laughs> about like the other world or literal definition it's just because we're in a fantasy land and because isekai characters are usually always in fantasy land and there's a plot of being a demon lord <laughs> but you're the demon lord's already dead bro there's, there's there's no demon lord to beat also it's not a tournament arc it's an exam arc, and yes, I hate them because it's lazy and formulaic writing. I love exam arc. I saw it in Naruto. You're gonna tell me that you saw one of the best arcs in Naruto, the tuning exams. I'm gonna shit on it. I saw it in Demon Slayer. I saw it several times in My Hero Academia, I believe. I don't need to see them again in Freedom, particularly in a case where they copy the Naruto formula almost. How does it copy? See, you, you say this shit? But you don't work off of it. What does this fucking mean? What Naruto formula was shown in the fucking in the the mage exam? All of the plot points you mentioned could have been established in maybe five episodes. It didn't need 28. Of course, there is space for shows to be episodic in nature. I didn't mention Avatar, but Avatar also makes sure it's one-off episodes still have good storytelling. Freedom doesn't. They do random boring shit in the episode end. It's a bunch of invent storytelling. Again, just a complete misconception of what Freedom is and what it's supposed to be. Lazy examples, lazy baits, trying to compare Naruto to Free Ren, which takes no fucking sense. And a complete misunderstanding of what genres are. Again, it's just mid, mid rage baiting. I just wish that he did his homework better so that like what he wrote can have actual partial truth riddled with a lot of hate that I could actually respect, right? At the end of the day, I don't read this and get mad. I'm just disappointed because trolling is an art form and you are doing a really shitty job doing that. If this was very well thought out and had actual story examples to 
you know, kind of like cherry picked specific things to work off of his talking points, then I'd be like, <laughs> you know what? This guy's kind of cooking, but this is just mid, I fear. Guys, pause the video and look at that. Just just read that. I, I, like, just, just read this. This is... Yeah. The fact you can make statements like this mm. and then also talk about overpowered characters like Freerun and Demon mm. Lord, I got transported, all that type of stuff. This one absolutely blows my mind. Mm. Like, th this actually does. This anime is not shonen. It's a Sekai. Every a Sekai MC starts off overpowered with the exception of ReZero. I understand Freerun is not technically a Sekai from a story standpoint, but it has all the same plot points and beats of I got transported to another world to defeat. No, Freerun. that did not happen. It doesn't, the Demon Lord doesn't exist. You realize. He's dead. Demon Lords, Demon Kings <laughs> have been um, a staple. In yeah. fantasy. Yep. For not decades. Centuries. Yeah, heroes good and demon lords is always. Lord of the Rings, Tolkien's verse. Literally an example of good v evil. And you can look at Morgoth and Sauron as demon lords slash demon kings. Oh, Th chibi. That's what you can view them as. Look at this lore and the knowledge. Fact that you think anything with a demon lord and slash demon king is automatically like an Asekai and that template just. Yo. Lord of the Rings is an Isekai movie. Oh my god. Educate yourself with some books, man. Just read some stuff and just blows my mind about that one. On top of that, Freerun is not an overpowered transported character. She is strong, yes. But she was strong since the very beginning. The journey of Freerun is after the journey. Yeah. It is after journey's end. That's what it literally is. About. The it is literally, literally the title. Literally the title. After the goal of the story is over. It's like yeah. imagine you start the series of Dragon Ball and you start super okay you start with super obviously you missed everything from Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z obviously Goku and all the other characters are going to be extremely overpowered because it's like they've already accomplished basically their main objectives so it's like of course for your strong like of course she had a whole 10 year journey that was that was the whole point like what like man I'm going to keep it real with you Take it from me, mm. as an anime reviewer, as someone yeah. that makes anime content, been doing it for the last decade. Maybe anime reviews ain't for you. Because... It's not just anime reviews. I just think that rage baiting... Well, I mean, he did get 1.4 million, you know, clicks onto this, so... Maybe my interpretation of good rage baiting is not true. Maybe you need mid rage baiting riddled with a bunch of flaws that people can then farm to make it even go crazier. Maybe I'm not the one truly understanding the art of rage bait, where the intention is to be retarded. If this isn't a humiliation fetish, for instance, you wanting to be humiliated by the internet at large for by thousands of people, and this is your serious takes about things, it's not. Either take a step back, think about what you're writing, and stop trying to be a contrarian just to be a contrarian. No, that's what he's doing. Or actually. I, I don't really know. I just, my man. Desperate people seeking online fame often rage bait to get cheap clicks. But at the end of the day, you're not creating a community. All you're doing is harboring hate and getting hated on. You just look like a clown and it's really not worth it. Rage baiting, I think, is just, again, the fastest ways to get views, but also the fastest way to be just irrelevant. People will never take you seriously. You've already created a brand of fucking retarded opinions. It's sad. That their pursuit of online fame is the exact same thing preventing from them from getting it. Advice. This ain't it. It's a bunch of yapping. It ain't it. And that's all I'm going to leave it at. And let's not even get into this one. Like... Tommy's <laughs> <laughs> tweet is crazy. <laughs> hey, Aura. This man... Yeah? ...is defending demons. Literal demons like i, I want to make sure we outline this the story of free Ren, demons within the reverse i mean free Ren is very racist to demons what this guy is saying isn't wrong vast amounts of racism yes it exists in free Ren for a very good reason if you've seen what the demons have done you'd understand why free Ren wants to call all of them and i don't blame her verse is basically the equivalent of evil within Lord of the Rings. That that's what it is. Like Sauron and his whole forces, they're evil. That's what they are. That that's what Frodo and everybody fights back against. And they are irredeemable. That's what they are. They are absolutely 
evil itself. And the demons within Free Ren are basically that as well. They are individuals that lack empathy, they can't understand human emotion, and they manipulate human emotion to get what they want. Yes, Free Ren doesn't like demons, but they're not good. I cannot believe we have you defending literal <laughs> murderous yeah. demons. Hey! Better defending that than being racist against, am I right, ladies and gentlemen? At the end of the day, if this guy is genuinely believing this, like if this is not rage bait, he's just a little special, right? It's not his fault his parents drank when he was a little wee lad in his mama's belly, right? It's not his fault that he got dropped as a child, right? If this is authentic. Now, if this is rage bait, I was at first a little disappointed because of the lack of homework he did. I mean, there's so many holes that you can poke through, but it still did get 1.4 million impressions. So maybe my understanding of the art of trolling and rage baiting on Twitter is actually wrong. And what this guy is doing is actually the objective correct thing to do. If you want to rage bait and get cheap impressions and get roasted, you need to come up with stupid opinions. You can't have... Because, like, I thought that you just have a couple talking points and you cherry-pick specific situations to kind of exaggerate on those talking points to prove why a show is bad. But, maybe this guy's got to figure it out, man. The fuck do I know? I've never gotten 1.4 million impressions on Twitter, but I also never gotten ratioed this hard. Please go give Mr. Chibi a like on the video. Check out his channel if you haven't. Here's the link, and I will see you next time.